This video is just going to show you using PowerPoint how to insert a, uh, uh, a picture and then um, put a, a label on it. Okay, so here I just open PowerPoint. This is the layout that you get. You can leave this layout. I don't know. I prefer go up here to layout. Just go blank. That's what I tend to do, but you, there's other ways too. But anyway, this works. Go to blank. Go to insert. Pictures. And from your pictures, you're just going to find something. I had a, a picture in mind here in my files. So go to the files. And where would you go here? There we go. Got some lumberjacks here. Okay. So that was a, a maybe a dot jpeg or dot png our files are acceptable that would open up so just make sure your file is saved that way but anyway get your picture here that's the big thing once you do go back to insert go to shapes and choose an arrow and i'm going to choose the arrow to be right here okay so i'm pointing at this guy that's not that noticeable so while it is highlighted or else if it's off click it again by clicking the left mouse double click and it gives you the information up here or if i right click on that little mouse here's my information and i can go style or outline style just allows me to change the thickness of the line okay you can um, also go to outline and so i when i clicked on outline I can change the color again. Black was kind of dark, but maybe yellow really stands out, okay? If I go back to outline, I can also do the weight to make it bigger. Okay, so now it's really noticeable. Okay, so here, you can, oops, can move the arrow around a little bit like so, and I'm pointing at this person. Now I want to label that. So I'm going to go to uh, back to insert, text box, my left, mouse button I'm going to click and hold the text box okay and so now you can see I have the, the dot flashing for the text box and I am just going to write person with clipboard okay once again if I have that sitting there it's pretty dark so uh, I'm going to right click once again and with fill this time I can fill that box in, okay? So that way it really stands up against the background, okay? If I go back to, uh, to fill, uh, I'm just trying to find you the quickest way. Nope, those aren't the greatest options. Don't use those. Um, go here, you go right click. If you really wanted to get fancy format shape, okay, just gives you this information, line, fill is what you want okay no fill or solid fill you can set the transparency as well so that it's still see-through if that's what you wanted to do okay and then that way you can you can see some of the background so what i did again was my mouse is in the box i'm right clicking on it going to format shape and it gives me that information here for fill okay so anyway that is the, the quick and dirty version of how to insert arrows and uh, labels. If you want to also do circles, insert shapes. You can insert a circle and just say maybe specifically this guy. Okay, now that's not very good, but if you go right click on the mouse format, that's a fill thing again. I don't want fill. Okay, I just want a line, and that line, I want it a different color because blue didn't stand out, but yellow did in this black and white photo. And then with the width, we can increase it as well so it stands up a little bit better as well. Okay, so all those features kind of work together so that hopefully you can uh, make that work a little better okay if you want to go with the same theme of this arrow you don't have to recreate the arrow every time i'm going to click the arrow on i'm going to right click the arrow i'm going to say copy click so that it's off of there and go up to here and say paste 
and there it is again. Okay, so this time I can keep that same yellow arrow theme, point to this guy. Okay, and then same thing, I could click, right click, I clicked on the box, I right clicked, copy, paste, and I can keep that same theme and then just change, highlight and change the wording. Loitering. Okay, so all that can be done there. Once I'm done, file, save as, and uh, and save the save the presentation. Okay, so I hope this helps. Let me know if there's any questions.